Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see by the title of this video, I am bringing you, I had to break that down. Do you know how many times I've just had to say bringing you in like a separate clip? <laughs> yeah, bringing you a home bargains haul. Um, that's what I'm doing today. I nipped in there the other day just for a couple of things and ended up, you know, it isn't always one thing, is it? So yeah, that's, we're here basically. I'm showing you everything I bought. If I do look like a damp twat, that's because I am sweating absolutely drenched that sounds gross i know but it's like firstly one of the hottest days of the year so like i am sweating <laughs> honestly got the window shut so the neighbors can't hear me you know in my element in my little bedroom doing my youtube videos <laughs> and thirdly is that second or third i don't know i've got a big light just here absolutely like yeah covering me in artificial lighting and it's Oh, it's so hot, it's so hot. I don't know why I said artificial lighting then. Artificial lighting, <laughs> all right. I haven't even got lashes on today. I can't be arsed, honestly. You're lucky you've got this. I've just slapped a bit on. I think I've got lipstick on my teeth. My saggy bag is weighing me down. I've not got a bra on, I can't be arsed. I've actually been for a bit of a boob check today. Um, yeah, I've had a little bit of discomfort, so I've like gone and got checked out. Always check your breasts, people. Always check your breasts. It's so important. So, so important. Always do it. Just takes a couple of minutes of your time. Just like have a little good, you know, a good feel. Anyway, if you think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and keep on watching. I'll start with this bag. It's quite a heavy one. Um, that's why I've got cat food in it. I got some cat food for my little babies. This is, um, yeah, just the home bargains one. £2.39 this was. I also picked some pegs up. Oh, does anyone's fingers ever look like really weird when they're sweating? Mine always look a bit odd. A bit chubbier, do you know what I mean? It's hard to explain. Like, I can't explain it, but when I'm really hot, like, my fingers look fatter. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I've got some of these um, pegs. Basically, I bought some the other day. Has anyone heard of yabbers or Trotters Traders, it was Yabbas, it's now Trotters Traders. I don't know if that's like a, you know, all over the country thing. This is kind of one of the shit shops, like a real shit shop, like it's shit. Well, I got some wooden pegs from there the other day, two packs, and um, they broke on me. They were just pinging left, right, and center, pegging the washer down. Things were just falling down. I was like, what is going on? They were just snapping left, right, and center. So I thought, no, no. I'm taking advantage of the weather to get my washing done. So I've got these ones, soft grip ones. Add a little bit of a, uh, a tester and they're quite solid. These were 89p for a 24 pack. Also picked up some of this for my Henry Hoover. This is um, a vac disc. So what does it say? Cut the sachets in half as indicated. I've got hair on my lip. Oh, I've got hair. This is basically a Hoover freshener, a vacuum freshener. Cut sachets in half as indicated. Remove this from sachet. Place in vacuum cleaner. Replenish with each new dust bag or every six to eight weeks. I thought I would try this. Obviously, with having a dog and five cats, you know, there is the animal smell there. Like, I do try to keep the home as fresh as possible, but it's a lived in family house. It is a bit dogger. It is a bit, you know, it's just a bit, you know, lived in, a bit animal lived in. So yeah, I just thought I'd try this. Um, fits all types of vacuum cleaners as well. This was really cheap. What it even says, for pet lovers too. This was only 59p. I shan't bore you too much, but I got some coffee. As you can see, I've opened them. I always open them, so everything's in my bags, ready to film. I'll end up not filming that day for whatever reason. I always end up going in the bag for coffee, so. I just took a handful to work last night. I cannot drink works coffee. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to buy. <laughs> can't I can't drink it I feel like home I feel comforted being on my feet 12 hours at work I feel a little bit comforted knowing I've got my coffee do you know what I think is amazing a lot of people have been messaging me saying they've been seeing these coffees and thinking of me and I think that is so nice like you just start out you just start doing a bit of shopping and you think of my mug because you see some coffee like I think that's amazing and a lot of people actually have started trying them and think they're really nice yeah coffee friends right this I I, I don't know if anyone's ever tried this but I we, I shouldn't say I, we are in love with these. So me and Steve love these waffles on top of a coffee. 69p, the cheapest I have seen them. Um, these are toasty waffles filled with caramel. Right, if you haven't tried them, please try them. So with your brew, your cup of tea, your coffee, whatever, um, obviously a hot drink. I don't think it'll work with wine. What you do is you just, you know, pop, pop one of these on top. This is mug size, so you pop it on top. Um, and the heat from your drink kind of makes it go all soft and gooey. So when you bite it, like with the caramel, it's all soft and gooey. And I could go on for ages about it. Just try them, honestly. Thank me later. 
Honestly, you won't regret it. It's a nice little treat when you have a coffee. The thing is, I have about 10 coffees a day, so. I also picked some more Fabulosa disinfectant up. This one, I haven't actually seen this one. This one is pineapple and coconut. I haven't tried this. I no, I would have remembered. I thought it looked a little bit exotic. So I'll give a go. Let's have a little smell, actually. It smells like Malibu. I personally really like this range. I think it's really affordable and they're so, like, fragranced. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're really, like, clean smelling, but, like, not overpowering. It's a really nice, clean smell. I really love the, um... What one do I really love? It's in a pink bottle. I think it's the watermelon one. It smells incredible. So see, you've got these, um, Carlsberg four bottles. It says four pounds on there, but it wasn't. I think it was like two quid. Bought some lime as well to go with this. So um, yeah, a bit of Carlsberg. The last thing in this bag is a Yankee Melt. Um, this is the golden chestnut one and it smells really nice. It's very cinnamony. It's that kind of smell, like a Christmas smell. They're my favorite type of wax melt. Ones that smell really Christmassy and cinnamony. Um, I love those, honestly, that is like my favourite all year round, I love that, and I love the clean cotton one as well. This was like 69p or something like that, it was not expensive at all. They've got all different ones in at the minute, and I've got something else Yankee to show you as well, that I haven't seen in Home Bargains before, but I haven't been for a while, so. I'm on to my next bag now, and um, <laughs> okay, I have an empty bag of Doritos. This was a five pack, it's now a zero pack, like, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Yeah, I won't go on about it. We're just fat fucks. The knickknacks have been opened. This was a six pack. There's now two left. Now, I also picked up some of this. This is one of my favorite cleaning products to use. This is for the floor. This is the Flash Floor Cleaner, but it's the French soap. Oh my God, if you haven't, if you haven't used this, like try it. I can smell this in my kitchen a few days after and I've got animals, as you all know. I always say I've got animals. I'm actually doing a video, Meet the Animals, um, this weekend. So, yeah. <laughs> So, um, I don't know if that's something you'll watch. I don't know, but I get a lot of questions about the animals. So I thought, you know what? We are gonna meet the animals. We're gonna go for a walk with Sam. Um, yeah, I just, I'll show you how like my little babies are. Let me know if that is something you'd watch. Cause like, if you're like, nah, don't do that. Then obviously I won't do it. But um, if you are interested, let me know. <laughs> It's just because I get a lot of questions about the animals, so I thought, you know what, I'll do it. I have actually had this video as a request a couple of times. So yeah, but um, I got some of this, honestly, it's two quid, um, amazing. It's quite a big bottle as well, you just need a little capful. I pour way more than a capful, <laughs> it's probably why it smells for ages. Um, I literally, I'm like, gug, gug. I also picked up some of this yeast. Um, this is because I do fancy doing a little bit of bacon. I do. I tried to do this before and my local shops, believe it or not, had no yeast. So I couldn't do that video, but I fancy doing a bit of bacon. This was 29p for these two sachets. I think, like, will this be enough? I've never baked bread before. I'm not just gonna make like plain bread. I'm gonna like flavor it. I don't know, some olives, a bit of cheese in there. I don't know, I'm basically making a sandwich, aren't I? <laughs> also picked up one of these because um, I've got Sam's hair on it. You know, surprise, surprise. It's just a dish brush. Dish brush. I have to be careful getting my words out. I have to, I really have to break them down, honestly. This was like 59p. Um, I do have cloths and stuff, but I feel like this on my um, dishes, obviously it's a dish brush, but I mean like, do you know, on like casserole type dishes, and where like, it just takes a little bit more um, than a cloth or something. So I use one of these. And um, a little tip as well, if you've got any burnt on stuff in pans and that, put a bit of, um, wash powder in there and leave it in hot water, honestly. Leave it a good few hours and then use one of these. It literally just comes off, like, amazing. My mum told me that, I think it was my mum. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, it might not be my mum. Somebody told me anyway, I don't know. But basically, um, yeah, it's a great tip and it's always worked for me. I picked Sam some of this up, he really likes this. 49p from Home Bargains. The dog even looks like Sam on the picture, it's so sweet. Literally just chop a bit up and mix it in with his biscuits and stuff. Um, and he really likes it. Also, picked up some of these. Now, you've probably heard me mention, especially on Instagram, um, I really like these. I will sit and have this jar in like a plastic tub on the sofa. I'll just relax, eating my chillies. The only thing is, the last time I got them from Home Bargains, they weren't that hot and I do like a bit of heat. I like a bit of kick. The ones from Tesco, absolutely, pfft, my throat was on fire, honestly, absolutely on fire. But um, these ones are quite tame. So I was kind of hoping I had a bit of a dud one. Um, yeah, one of my favorite treats, like forget chocolate, honestly. I like these and olives and stuff like that and stuffed olives and I'm a real, um, I don't know. Like, I like that kind of food. If you was wondering, they were 69p. I'm down to my last bag and my most interesting bag. First thing from this bag is this Yankee Candle Melt Set. So, um, 
yeah, I cannot believe I got a Yankee candle set and it even comes with melts. This was $4.99. Um, it's quite a large one as well. So you get some melts in there as well. Let me show you. This pack of melts with it. By the way, they had all different ones, but the one I've got is the Spring Love. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh, they do. It's not the usual scents that I would go for. Like I said, I like the cinnamony type ones. But um, yeah, I would definitely buy this as a melt. I can't believe you get a candle. Like you actually get a candle. Um, 4 dollars They did have other ones as well. And they had just a burner on its own for 3 dollars Do you know what? These are perfect Christmas gift ideas to get now. Honestly, if you know somebody that loves candles and wax melts and stuff, 4 dollars for like a proper little set. Oh, this. I picked up this. How interesting does this look? So they've got like a whole load of new makeup in at the minute. Like I walked past it and I was like, I never saw you before. Look at them colours. Those colours are absolutely beautiful. They're very, um, I mean, the palette's called Prismatic. So there's quite like, you know, prismatic. <laughs> so like the yellow one, wow, that is very strong. Let me just do a little swatch test for you. Swatch test. Welcome back to my beauty channel, guys. In this video, we are reviewing the Prismatic palette. Um, look at that. Oh, they're very nice. They're a lot more pearlier, like, in real life. Like, if you was here, you'd be like, wow, they're very shiny. Um, how much do you think this was? Honestly, have a wild guess. Give you a few seconds. <laughs> but like some TV presenter, I'll give you a few seconds. Um, 79p. 79p. I, I could not believe it. Honestly, look at that. I can't believe it. 79p. Right, there is a reason that I went for, like, the purpley shaded palette. Well, that's because... I'm dyeing my hair this colour, people. Say goodbye to the blue. We are going purple. The blue isn't gone. The blue isn't gone forever. Like, this will be back. I love the blue. I'm thinking of doing my whole head blue, like a really nice blue. So, um, like, I love it that much. But I just want to experiment a little bit. I just want to test out. You know, I'm a bit curious. It was 4 dollars so it's a little bit pricey um, for an eight wash dye. But, um, obviously, it's the funky colour you're paying for, isn't it? So, pretty pastels. I thought, you know, I'd give it a go you know video pending i'm gonna dye my hair purple all the front panels anyway i'm gonna go prismatic with the palette i have mentioned it before this is one of my favorite body washes shower gels um from imperial leather it's the cosmic unicorn it smells really nice oh oh my god i got my nose I feel like it smells like an avon like far away type perfume and i just really like that like it's a nice like yeah, I really like that smell. I also picked up some more of this. It's a little salt grinder. I always feel a little bit fancy when I'm doing my salt like this. That was only 59p as well. Oh, I also got this. So it's a really small candle. It's an Airwick one though. Um, it's really small, honestly. Like it's tiny. I don't know how much this was, but it wouldn't have been much. Oh, it's not, yeah. Honestly, it's so small. I, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I do love my candles and stuff. I absolutely love wax melts, candles, anything like that. I bloody love them. Um, I just, I love the house to smell so nice. 49p. This was only 49p. Another Imperial Leather body wash that I got was this one. This one's got Wild Thing. Um, I haven't seen this one. They have got a few more in. They are a lot smaller than the other bottles, as you can see. Um, well, yeah, this one's 400ml and this one's 250ml. Yeah, it just smells really, oh, it's really fruity and stuff. It's very nice. And lastly, from this bag, I got some of these face masks. I, this is not a face mask, is it? It's a foot mask. So a lot of people have been saying to try the peel off one. That's what I'm doing. I got this one today. Um, this is the exfoliating foot peel, tea tree and peppermint. I swear by the Poundland one, which is the rejuvenating one. My feet feel amazing. It's a really nice feeling, like they're so soft. I got this Face Facts Strawberry Brightening Sheet Mask. I was really like tempted by the brightening bit. I always feel like I like my skin to feel and look radiant and stuff and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. I feel like sometimes my skin can be a bit drab. I haven't shaved my moustache. I know a few people watch me on the big screen. Yeah, eh? So you probably see that now. It's like, I can't be arsed. You know this weather, it makes me like, I just, I cannot be asked to do anything. I work, I sleep, I get up, I do what I have to do. You know, I get on with it, get on with the day. And then I, I cannot be asked at the minute. It's the weather. It really is. They were really cheap. They're like less than a pound for those masks. The last thing that I did buy from Home Bargains, well, I got two of them, but one of them's downstairs, are these. So they are bamboo fencing. These are the smaller ones. So just kind of enough for like half a fence. Did have a lot bigger as well. So you can get like a big six foot fence or whatever. I got this because I want to trial it out. Um, I live in a council house and I don't know what they were thinking. Half of the fence is like double panelled. Then the top half is just like, 
like a, a crisscross. Every single neighbour and their mothers and whoever else can see in. And there is no privacy in our garden. So I thought I'll try this at the top. 3 dollars this was for the smaller one and 5 dollars for the bigger one. Um, but then, then, plot twist. I am glad I only bought two because we have decided to move house. We have. So that's what we're doing now. We're currently like house on into rent. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Share on your social medias. That would mean a lot. Um, almost at 6,000 subscribers. Like, wow. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you so much. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's fayj202. I'll link it all below. I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world, you're having a great day or evening and I'll see you in my next video.